Hello children, today in this video we are going to do the remaining questions of exercise 12.1 and these questions you have to do in your notebook also. Before starting these questions, first of all this should be clear to you that 1 degree is equals to 60 minutes and 1 minute is equals to 60 seconds. This we have done earlier also in the previous video. Now add the following add means we have to do the plus of this 29 degree 30 minutes and 57 seconds. 10 degree 40 minutes and 27 seconds add them 57 plus 27 84 second 30 plus 40 70 minutes and 29 plus 10 is 39 degree now I will subtract 60 from here how much is left 24 is left now 1 will be carry forward so 70 plus 1 is equals to how much 71 71 again minus 60 will be 11 minutes so this one will be carry forward 39 plus 1 is equals to 40. So 40 degree 11 minutes and 24 seconds. Question number 2 60 degree 40 minutes 20 seconds plus 20 degree 10 minutes and 10 seconds. So it's easy 20 plus 10 30 seconds 40 plus 10 50 minutes and 60 plus 20 80 degree. Third part 49 degree 00, 00 minutes and 00, 00 seconds add plus 51 degree 42 minutes and 27 seconds so 27 plus 0 27 42 plus 0 42 and 49 plus 51 is 100 degree last part of this question 58 degree 36 minutes and 00, 00 seconds 2 degree 47 minutes 35 seconds 35 plus 0 is 35 36 plus 47 is 83 and 52 plus 2 is 60 35 will come as it is. Subtract 60 from here, from 83, you will be, uh, it will be the 23 minutes. And then 1 will be carry forward, so it will be 61 degree. Next, question number 5th. In the adjoining figure, find the value of A and B. So this, this well, these two values we have to calculate. Again, if you will see, this is a linear pair. Angle A, if the, uh, and the ratio of A and B is given to you 7 ratio 5. So I will take A is equals to 7x and B is equals to 5x. Now A plus B is equal is equals to 180. These are the linear pair. What is the value of A from here? 7x. Value of B 5x. 7x plus 5x is equals to 180. So 7 plus 5 is 12x is equals to 180. Value of x will be 180 divided by 12 which is equals to 15. From here we have to calculate the value of A and B. So A is 7x, 7 into 15 which is 105. B is 5 into 15 which is 75. So this is our answer for A and B. After this next question, question number 6. It is in the given figure, lines A, B and C, D intersect at a point O. If AOC is 100 degree, find the following angles. Now, these are the two lines A, B and C, D. They are intersecting at point O. One angle is given to you, AOC is 100 degree. We have to calculate the remaining three angles. First of all, AOC, AOC plus COB is equals to 180. Some of these two angles will be 180, reason linear pair. One angle is given to you, AOC. 100 plus COB is equals to 180. So how to calculate the value of COB? I will shift this 100 towards this side. 180 minus 100. So therefore COB is equals to 80. Next, if I have got this value as 80, so I will say that angle 1 or angle AOD will be is equals to 80. Reason vertically opposite angle and BOD is equals to 100. This is also the vertically opposite angle. So I have written over here AOC is equals to BOD 100 vertically opposite angle and COB is equals to DOA is equals to 80 again the same reason vertically opposite angle. Question number 7th in the adjoining figure ABC is a straight line in the figure you can see that ABC is a straight line find the values of the following angles these values we have to calculate. Now, few angles are also given to you. Angle A, B, P, they have given to you 2 into A plus 70. P, B, Q, they have given to you 
a minus 10 and c b q is given to you 5 into a. So, sum of all the three angles, these three angles a b p, p b q and q b c will be equals to 180 because they all are lying on a same straight line because a b c is a straight line. Now, a b p is equals to 2 into a plus 70 that's what I have written. Next is p b q a minus 10 that's what I have written q b c 5 into a 5 a is equals to 180. Add the terms of a 2 into a plus a 3 a 3 a plus 5 a it is equals to 8 a. 70 minus 10 60 is equals to 180. Shift the 60 towards here, 8a is equals to 120. So the value of a is equals to 120 divided by 8 which is equals to 15. Now we will put this value of a in these values, in these angles and we will get the values of these angles. It is a, b, p is 2 into a plus 70. So 2 into 15 plus 70 which is 30 plus 70 which is equals to 100. P, B, Q, A minus 10, 15 minus 10, 5. Q, B, C, 5A, 5 into 15, it is 75. Next question, question number 8. In the given figure, P, O, Q is a straight line. P, O, Q is a straight line. If P, O, X is 50 degree, Q, O, Y, Q, O, Y is 20 degree and Q, O, R is 90 degree. These three angles are given to you. You have to find out the measure of these two angles R, O, X and P, O, Y. These two angles you have to calculate. First of all, first one, R, O, Q, R, O, Q plus R, O, P. R, O, Q plus R, O, P is equals to 180. Reason, linear pair. R, O, Q is given to you 90. That's what we have written. And can I write R, O, P is equals to R, O, X plus x o p because two angles are there. So I have written this is equals to 180. 90 over here x o p is 50, 50 and r o x will come as it is is equals to 180. So 90 plus 50, 140 value of r o x you can calculate from here. r o x is equals to 180 minus 140 which is equals to 40. Second part p o y we have to calculate. Now p o y plus Q O Y is equals to 180 because straight line and these two are the linear pair. So it is equals to 180. P O Y we have to calculate and Q O Y is 20 degree. So 20 I have written. P O Y is equals to 180 minus 20. P O Y is equals to 160. Ninth question. In the given figure line A B, P Q and X Y. A B, P Q and X Y. Intersect at point O. Find the value of X. We have to calculate here the value of X. In this also, here 2X is given to you. Here 7X is given to you. Can I write this angle is equals to X? Because vertically opposite angles. So that's why I have written over here. A, O, Y is equals to X, O, B. Vertically opposite angle. Both are equal to X. Now P, O, Q is a straight line. If it is a straight line, P O X plus X O B plus B O Q is equals to 180 because P O Q is a straight line. So P O X is equals to 2 X, X O B is equals to X and B O Q is equals to 7 X. When you will add these three, it is equals to 10 X. 10 X is equals to 180 and X is equals to 180 by 10. You will get the answer X is equals to 18. This only value we have to calculate. After this, the last question of this exercise, 10th one. Two lines PQ and RS intersect at O. PQ and RS intersect at O. Such that POS plus ROQ is 160. POS plus ROQ. Both angles, the addition of both the angles they have given to you, 160. Find the measure of, we have to calculate the angles. Now, four angles are uh, we have to calculate. We will take here, let POS, POS is equals to X. This I will take it as X. 
Now POS is equals to ROQ because these are the vertically opposite angles. So both are equal to X. One condition is given to you in the question only POS plus ROQ is equals to 160. And we have taken over here that POS is equals to ROQ is equals to X. Both are equal to X. So X plus X is equals to 180. 2X is equals to 160. X plus X is equals to 160. And 2X is equals to 160. So from here X is equals to how much? 80. It means POS is equals to 80 and ROQ is also equals to 80 or QOR is 80. Next. POS plus SOQ, POS plus SOQ, these two, sum of these two angles is equals to 180, linear pair. POS is 80, so SOQ, we will calculate from here, SOQ is equals to 180 minus 80, which is equals to 100. If I have got SOQ is equals to 100, obviously POR will also be equals to 100, because vertically opposite angle. So students, complete this exercise in your notebook. Thank you, children.